All righty. Um, my name is Justin Shaw, and I will be presenting about my internship in Washington, D.C. So about a year and a half ago, it seemed like all of my, my friends were talking about internships. It seemed like it was being whispered on the wind, internships, internships. And so I decided that I needed to have this experience. And so as I was walking down the hall one day, I saw a picture of Washington, D.C., and it said, Washington Seminar, apply now. And I said, this is it. I can finally check that box. I can become an intern. I can have that internship-like experience. So I was fortunate enough to work for Senator Harry Reid, I worked on Capitol Hill. Uh, he was the he he's the Senate Minority Leader currently. He'll finish off his term this October, and it was a fantastic experience. I recommend it to everyone. Um, when I was assigned there, I was assigned to work for the Democratic Steering and Outreach Committee. And what this committee does is they are basically in charge of fostering a dialogue with stakeholders in Washington D.C. advocacy groups and things like that in order to promote a dialogue and kind of drive legislation. So I was able to meet on a weekly basis with people like Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts or Chuck Schumer um, from New York. And these people that you hear in the news all the time and we were able to see kind of how legislation behind the scenes is able to get formulated and then implemented. So it was a very interesting thing. Along with me, uh, there were four other interns. Um, that picture should be coming. There it is. Uh, there were four other interns, one of which, uh, one was from Princeton, one was from Cornell, and the other one was from the University of Chicago. And so I was feeling extremely intimidated, as you can imagine. I mean, how am I, this lonely BYU English major, going to compete against these people that are majoring in political science? So um, once a week, as mentioned, we would have these meetings. And one of our, our leaders, her name's Claire Badger. You can see her only in the back. She's got glasses and black hair. That's the only picture I have of her. I apologize. But um, one day we were talking, uh, as we were walking down the hall, we were talking about Hillary Clinton and how I think that she's kind of treated a little differently because she's a woman as a political candidate. And as we were talking about this, she said, oh, well, so you're kind of like a feminist. And I said, well, uh, not necessarily. That's kind of a dirty word. Um, but she said, no, you are. You, you understand this kind of stuff. Where did you learn all of these things? And I said, well, I took a, a literary theory class, and in that class we discussed a lot of the terminology. And she said, this is perfect. I need somebody who's familiar with feminism who can go to some of these hearings and take notes, somebody who's familiar with definitions like patriarchy, sexism, uh, all of these types of, types of things that when you're just taking notes, if you don't understand those terms, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna understand what's going on. And so I need you to go. I need you to take these notes for me, and it'll be very beneficial. And so I agreed. Um, and who'd have thought that in Washington, D.C., I'd be kind of connecting myself with something that I had only learned about uh, and had taken place in the 70s, this, this feminism project, and now I was going to be taking notes and things like that. And it ended up being um, very interesting. Uh, one of the first things that I was able to go to the, the briefing on was on Islamic feminism. And this is a very interesting, nuanced type of feminism. What um, Islamic feminists are essentially doing is they're trying to curtail the rise of ISIS. Um, ISIS in many ways, as we saw in the, in the New York Times article with the um, forced rape and things like that, that it is um, very masculine. And so the, what these women feminists are trying to do is they're trying to curtail their, their husbands, their sons, people in the community from going and joining ISIS. And I was able to go to this hearing and take notes for, for my boss. Uh, another thing that I was able to participate in is the USAID. This is an initiative from the United States government where they're able to take funds and donate them to uh, women, uh, men and women in Africa, but they tend to favor women simply because these women, uh, when they receive money to do uh, agriculture, farming, or microfinance, or things like that, they tend to give, statistically speaking, more of those resources to their children. And so this, was, this kind of had a feminist edge to it, and it was something that I was able to go and participate in. Um, the, the other thing that I was able to participate in is a screening of Girl Rising. While I was here at BYU, I, had the, I, I was fortunate enough to go and witness uh, this documentary. It's called Girl Rising, and it talks about the importance of education for, for females abroad. Uh, and so as Claire and I started talking about it, she had also seen it, and we were able to contact the filmmaker who goes, who's a professor at Georgetown University, and we were able to talk about seeing if we could get that screened for the senators, and that took place in October. So who'd have thought that in these meetings, these weekly meetings with my boss, Senator Reed, and also uh, my other boss, Senator Amy Klobuchar of, of Minnesota, that I'd be able to make these significant contributions, even in the midst of these interns that are all majoring in political science and have uh, are very, very qualified. The reason I think this is, is as English majors, we deal with a lot of ambiguity. Uh, Claire Badger would frequently tell me, I love your notes, your notes are very good, and you take notes on things that are very important. And I think that comes as a result of being an English major. Uh, and the last si slide was just a picture of Washington, D.C., the capital. Um, 
what, there are things in your English major that have qualified you to participate in internships, like on Capitol Hill, uh, that will be very beneficial to you. And those are some of the unexpected things that you can benefit from as an English major. Thank you.